Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've done this but I'm finally continuing it because I've seen some runways, pictures and shows that I actually like and so you know what, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste. This is my review of the Versace Fall and Winter 2020. So let's get it on with slide one that you see in front of you right now. So first picture, it's actually quite simple. It's a very short uh, t-shirt dress, I guess you can call it, uh, with, what is that, Bl uh, black platforms, quite simple. And then on the second picture, we got a red plaid uh, jacket, long sleeve jacket with wide shoulders, and then underneath that is, could be some printed and high boots, very New York. Obviously, it's definitely fall winter style. And then here we have another very new, three of them, all New York styles. Uh, we are looking at a slit in the uh, front yoke right there. That's a that's a dress with the boots. And then you got two piece right there, a jacket and the pants. And then one piece on the dress, very short dress, again with the boots. Very New York style. I guess you can say high fashion and upscale look. And moving on to slide two. We got a mix uh, match fashion with a red tartan with a basically a ha, cow neck jacket. I guess you can say a zipper jacket with the matching purse and then that could be a skirt. And then look at those white uh, platforms or stilettos, whatever you want to call it with the fur hat. Very, very, ha man, very mix and match upscale look. And then on the second, Picture very similar to the first picture. Got a black uh, leather, could be leather jacket with a white purse, very uh, uh, big neck, I guess, zipper, and uh, also a skirt with a white shirt underneath. And then here we have sunglasses on the third picture, plaid skirt, plaid jacket. Underneath that is a black jacket, and then solid red underneath with white boots, very upscale. And then here we have something simple. I guess you can call this the little black dress, just all black. And then moving on to a varsity looking style right here with the green, black, and purple look. That could be a shirt, that could be a jacket, whatever it is. And then probably a skirt underneath that with a red purse. Man, it's a mix match fashion. Kind of reminds you of uh, streetwear, but upscale look. Then moving on to slide three. Now this thing is, you can see purple, red, and black. On the first picture, you got a uh, drop top, V-neck with off the shoulders with a V, and then a skirt. On the second picture, a jacket, the black jacket underneath, with another skirt with a all white boots. Same thing with third picture, but this time it has a jean jacket. And then on the fourth picture, which I like, got a sweater, drop top shoulders, uh, I mean, uh, drop shoulders and then the skirt that that looks like a jean uh skirt and then you have the fifth picture which is very similar style it looks like she's going out on the snow very cold as you can tell skirt puffer jacket more like a puffer crop bomber jacket with a red hoodie you know all of this actually are on theme they are on point and i'm noticing that this collection is on point now slide four, very simple but with the red and kind of blush or cream color with a, with a red, uh, I mean plaid, gray plaid skirt with the jacket on, with a fur uh, hat and then same skirt with a puffer jacket on, very nice and then you got a zebra print in the middle, more like a business street wear I guess you can say and then you got the red dress just the red dress really simple and then you got a heavy heavy coat with a fur hat and then obviously the skirt but as you can tell they are on point the only thing that i think that is different from this is obviously the middle one or i guess you can say the fourth picture but nonetheless color wise they are on theme now this one looks like it's a uh uh animal mixed with plaid and city i guess you can say here's the first picture it's really something fun with a herringbone jacket and then you got a floral 
so it could be sweater and then the zebra on the skirt and then this one looks like a uh, polka dot matrix uh, although a big jacket more like a trench coat and then you got a floral and then zebra striped a uh, zebra striped dress same thing with the fourth picture and then you got the floral sweater with a skirt with a white boots a very mixed kind of animal mixed with hippie I guess you can say or animal mixed with 70s style and then on slide six very very eccentric here you got a blazer looks like a double breasted blazer and a skirt and a shirt underneath I actually like this look very very upscale look and then you got this one which I think is even nicer you got a jacket you got a printed shirt and then you got the striped denim it actually absolutely well put together and then this one is really nice when you're going out of town or especially in the summer which is the psychedelic amoeba looking patterns same thing with the fourth picture and then another stripe coordination on the fifth picture it actually works well but certainly my favorite is picture number two moving on to slide seven you got the striped jacket with the black skirt with the what is that a YSL purse could be with the black jacket underneath it could be black sweater it's actually very nice the orange and the red gives it a good look same thing with the second picture very similar in terms of colors but different styles that might be a jogging pants puffer jacket and then you got this one very very private sophisticated I guess you can say in the middle picture and then here we have the models she's very famous but she's wearing the uh, just a black dress with slits on the yokes and then on the fifth picture very very full it has some fullness to it from the skirt even at the top it's quite interesting uh, the way it's cut the way it's designed it's very eclectic at the same time it actually works well but man that is quite high and so here we have the slide number eight all black now you got the biker jacket the crop biker jacket with a skirt and then you got the dinner jacket all black that could be again leggings joggers whatever and then you got the black trench coat quite full have some treaties on it and then you got a very simple i actually like this look on the fourth picture sleeveless where that could be a skirt and then something very punkish look you got the tank top or shirt dress I guess you can say with some silver trims on it very very sophisticated I, I love this look I don't know what it is but again Versace is is on point I, I need to look up who Versace's creative director right now because this collection is actually very nice and then the first picture is probably continuing on the previous uh, slide but got a sleeveless with some decorations on the shoulders it's actually not bad and then you got the snake skin that could be a snake skin or whatever it could be uh, two-piece suit and then again the black dinner jacket with some two pockets on the front with some leather pants and then you got the pink look it's actually a nice combination the black jacket certainly uh, covers a lot of the pop on the pink and then you got a cream dress with some slits here and there very long dress and then with the pink uh, shoes it's actually very nice obviously this is a mix match type slide right here on slide number 10 you got a simple uh, strapless dress something you, you go out with probably on a date same thing with a slide number two but that again this this is a uh, something you wear to the club i guess and then on the middle picture you got a simple uh i wouldn't say overalls dress I, there's a name for it i forgot the name um it's, it's black it's, it's not bad the same thing with slide uh i mean picture number four very inspiration from the zebras it's more like a typography or geographic print to it same thing with Picture number five. Picture number five is definitely has some swag to it. It's quite. It's giving you a lot of attitude. I actually like the colors. It works 
it looks like a tiger colors but it's not and so here we are on the last slide slide number 11 silver a simple dress she's very famous the model she's a Kardashian actually but it's not bad it's not my favorite and then here we have some boots a double breasted jacket and a dress underneath that it's pretty good very punkish New York uh, sophisticated certainly I actually like that look and and number last but not least picture number three zebra print silver with some trims on the straps this actually works well it actually well on this model it works well with her because it shows off her body not only that you see a lot of dresses that's actually pretty good i like the shoes too and so let's get on with the conclusion here versace fall winter 2020. i like the look of this collection this collection is absolutely what i expect from versace extravagant upscale very mix and match it's how i always envision versace with especially with the medusa logo and this to me speaks versace now you know you kind of get a crossover between balmain tom ford so and so but this collection is leaning more towards street uh new york sophisticated upscale lifestyle a lot of blacks obviously but a lot of uh, prints at the same time but this is definitely a fall or winter this thing reminds me of a holiday collection, but at the same time, I think to me, this is correct. Fall and winter. Now, there's not a lot of puffer jacket or furs and big jackets, but at the same time, I think, I think that a lot of those would fall, would fall onto fall or autumns. But, man, this, I actually, like I said, this collection is great. This is one of the few times I would say, you know what, Versace, you actually did good on this. Because design-wise, it's absolutely great. Uh, creativity is there. The look is there. They also picked the right models, obviously, to show off the clothes. And so that basically concludes my review of the fall and winter 2020 of Versace. Hopefully you learned something today and hopefully you like that. Let me know down in the comments below. And so I will see you in another fashion review. Bye-bye.